Hey guys, today we have in store for you a Polaroid review mm -hmm. on this little bad boy right here. The Polaroid Now. It's kind of cute. It's a new Polaroid camera, so this isn't vintage. It was just made, I believe, under two years ago, and it's about $100. Polaroid Originals has made a couple other new Polaroid cameras, and this is the most recent one. So we wanted to do a review for you guys, along with some tips on shooting Polaroids. All right, well, um, we're gonna go out and shoot a pack through this guy here, and um, we'll be back shortly for the review portion of the video. We shot a pack in this. The film that this camera takes is the Polaroid iType film. This is the film that's made specifically for this camera, although you can also use Polaroid 600 film, which um, works in vintage cameras. The only difference with the Polaroid 600 and the iType is that since this camera is chargeable, the Polaroid iType film doesn't have a battery pack in the actual pack, whereas the Polaroid 600 film and all the other ones that they make, they do have battery packs in them because they're made for vintage cameras that don't have batteries already in them. So I've shot this, I've shot with this camera before a couple times, but Jake has never shot with this camera before, so he can tell some of his thoughts on uh, being a newbie with a Polaroid camera and how he liked it being someone that doesn't know that much about this camera. And then I'll tell you some of my experience with it from using it more than just once. Well, the main thing that I was paying attention to was just making sure when I took a photo that it was it was lined up. Because obviously you can't really crop it afterwards because it's, it's once you take the photo, it's, it's already a physical photo. Obviously it, it makes it into a instant image and you can't crop it afterwards so i just was really paying attention to that and with this i don't know about the other polaroids but um with this camera you have to get closer than it actually looks because you'll take the picture and it will be uh you'll be further away than you thought you were don't get too close but you know get closer than what you think it, it should be just a little bit that's just what i noticed from taking pictures and her tips but overall yeah it's a fun little camera um, it's my first time really ever playing with Polaroids or ever shooting, but 
it is a fun experience having the photo just pop out and be be good in five, 10 minutes once you let it do its thing in the box. So I think I'll eventually borrow her cameras <laughs> and shoot some photos with it. So a couple other things about this camera, um, just some basic stuff. So it is chargeable. So when you buy this, it comes with a charging cord, like a USB cable you can plug into a wall port and charge it. Um, it doesn't need to be charged that often, which is really nice. Only like after a couple of uses. So this camera has a really, really nice flash. The previous cameras that Polaroid released of these of this new line, the flash was like a little bit too bright, I would say. Like it would be too easy to blow out your photos. Whereas this flash is like really, I don't want to say muted, but like it's really appropriate for the scene and it doesn't blow out your photos a lot. It's just a more like skin tone friendly flash. So if you're taking a, pho a photo of a person at night, I mean, it's not gonna make their skin look really white or pasty. It's kind of good with that. Also, this camera has an autofocus feature, which is super nice, especially because there's absolutely no way to focus a Polaroid like you would a normal camera. So if you half press down the shutter button, which is right here, if you press it halfway down, you'll hear the lens in here focusing, like making a little whirring sound. And so that's just like something you would do before taking the photo to like guarantee it's gonna be focused, which I really like that about this camera because then you are able to actually get a more focused photo and it's still a Polaroid. Another feature, it has a cell timer, which is fun. However, unlike the original new Polaroid camera that they released, which I also own, it doesn't have a tripod mount on the bottom, which I think is a con. It's one of the only cons of this camera. I don't know why it doesn't have a tripod mount. So if you're gonna use the self timer, you have to have this on like a flat surface or like in our picture that we took using the self timer, we use like a ladder, like a little step stool thing. So that worked out fine, but I mean, it's like kind of inconvenient if you're wanting to do self-timer pictures outside maybe you'd have to have something flat to put it on or like the top of your car or something so that's a con it flashes and it gives you about like 10 to 12 seconds um so that's really nice and the focus was perfect on our photo so that was good overall i just really like this camera i think it's really convenient to be able to charge it and you can just use the eye type film on it, which is a couple bucks cheaper than the 600 film because it doesn't have a battery in the pack like I mentioned before. And I think that this is a really nice camera to have because it's there's less risk with it of your Polaroids not coming out in a certain way because sometimes when you pick up a vintage Polaroid camera from a thrift store or like the swap meet or something like that, there's not always a guarantee that it'll work or that it'll work in the way that you want it to. I think this is a really good thing to have if you wanna shoot Polaroids and be guaranteed that they'll come out good. Definitely pick up this camera. It's, I think it's about $99. Yeah, I think that this is a really good camera to have if you wanna like get into shooting Polaroids and they're fun for like something extra, something different. Mm -hmm. Like Jake thought it was nice to have something different and I'm sure you had a good time shooting something that wasn't just a normal film camera. Mm -hmm. So like Jake was talking about earlier when he was telling about his experience using this camera, he mentioned about your image looking further than you actually are, which is true. If you look through the viewfinder, whatever you're pointing the camera at will look pretty far. And so you'll think you need to either back up or not be so close, but you can actually get closer. So you can get about three feet away from your subject with this in order for it to still be focused. So if you think that something's too close, it probably isn't because you're seeing it from way further back. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, and just, just with anything, just trial and error. Take a couple, see how it looks, see how it comes out, you know, and then go from there. And another thing that is useful to keep in mind when you're taking pictures with this camera or any of the Polaroid cameras because the viewfinder is all the same. Normally, I guess, most people would look through it with their left eye. So you'd look through the viewfinder with your left eye, but since the viewfinder is so far to this side on the camera, you want to line up your, your scene, your composition with your left eye, but 
right before you take the photo, check it with your other eye to make sure that your subject is centered. I, I found that really useful when I'm shooting it because sometimes I'll think something looks centered and I'm just looking at it through my left eye and I take the photo on and it's just like slightly off center or it's just not in the center even though I thought I had lined it up. So if that was confusing, I'll try to say it simpler. What I meant was that you would look at it through your left eye if you think something is centered double check it with your right eye. And if your subject looks a little bit too much to the left, because that's how you're seeing it through here, obviously your lens is centered. I would suggest moving your camera just a tiny bit to the right. And that usually corrects it because since you're seeing so left, you're gonna think you have to be more left than you have to be. So I would suggest just moving it a tiny bit to the right so that your lens is actually centered with the subject. Based on where the lens is compared to where the viewfinder is. Mm -hmm. Just like with a rangefinder, you're seeing somewhere else, but you're actually shooting, you know, to the right. It's happened to, to me with the rangefinder and other cameras. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just something to keep in mind. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty simple to use this camera. You just, this is the button to eject the bottom part. <laughs> so this is where you'd, end, you'd put in the pack of Polaroids, close that. There's your on button. And then when you load your pack, you know, the first slide will, the dummy slide will come out. Um, and that's how you know that this is all good. There's also the flash button that you can turn on and off between shots, which is really nice. Flashes right there next and to it, the And it'll be lit up when you turn it on. Yeah, so I'll show you. So this is what it looks like when you turn it on. You have your flash flashing, letting you know that it's on. And then you have this number here which will actually tell you how many shots you have left. Right now it's zero because there's no pack in here. And so that's really useful. It works really well and it produces really nice pictures. Mm -hmm. Something fun and different than your average film camera. And it's nice that this is new. So there's a little bit more of a guarantee in it. So I think that that's really cool. And if you're interested in trying to shoot Polaroids or you just want to like start out doing it or maybe you have been shooting it but you want something that's a little more sturdy i would definitely suggest checking this out and maybe buying one for yourself because we really love it so with that we hope you got some good information on the polaroid now some some tips and maybe some things that you don't need that you can live without like the uh, tripod, tripod without, mount yeah without having the tripod mount there overall like you said it's really kind of a fun, different experience in the way of shooting photographs and it's fun having it be instant. So we hope you enjoyed, like always, we'll see you next time.